Good morning, John. Good, good morning, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to be here once again this morning. It seems like it seems like we, we just, just talked did yesterday this. morning. It, yeah. it seems like we did this literally five minutes ago, in it which does. the microphone wasn't on. Well, it's you know, time flies. This is Missoula's mayor, John Engen, and I had a chance to talk to him. And I feel like if you have a chance to talk to your mayor, you should talk to your mayor. Generally speaking, everyone should have a chance to talk to their mayor. It's you know. It, but you've never lived in a very large town. I have not. You know, and this is about local. You know, local government's kind of the front line. This is your opportunity, really, to interact. Say, yeah. I just, I just email your office and say that I want to talk to you. That happens. It does. So I ask you a couple hard-hitting questions. Yes. Um, below the belt. Okay. Do you have any pets? We have a rescued Labradoodle named Odie. Uh, we have a Humane Society cat named Moose. And uh, we just lost our 13-year-old Greyhound, my oh. beloved Patches. I have a Greyhound. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, they're fantastic dogs. She's a sweetie. She's yeah. pathetic. Lemon is a great dog. Lemon, that's she great. She loves to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, you know, the saw is their, their 45 mile an hour couch potato. Yes. Yeah. It is insane how much he does not want to do anything. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's, yeah, Patrick's was what we call food focused, which is really unusual yeah. in our family. Um, <laughs> what did you do before you were mayor? Jobs from, you know, 14 years old up? Golf land. Which was golf a, land an indoor miniature and that's here that course. was here it was we lost yeah. golf land yeah quite some time ago ah. yeah, yeah. Uh, has there been any applications for a golf land part due no ah. it's uh yeah it was it was right for its time we just lost quibbles too i feel like we're lacking for family fun centers i didn't know that was a that's the maze the corn maze go-karts corn maze, corn maze. Yeah. Arcade games. Yeah. Generally, I don't like to be castles. around that much corn, and I'm not allowed in bouncy things. So <laughs> there's a restraining order. That, that was an incident. That door is closed to me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Golfland, Hanson's Famous Ice Cream Store, where I scooped ice cream, made burgers, swamped toilets. And then I worked for the local newspaper. I worked for the Missoulian for a long time. I worked there from the time I was 19 until the time I was about 30. So you were th five -ish? Were you in college? Did you go to college? Yeah, so through that yeah I went to the degree? University of Montana. Got a degree in journalism. Uh, okay. So I worked. Uh, I worked on the production side of the newspaper uh, while I was in school. Mm -hmm. Then when I graduated, I got a job on the news desk and worked uh, the copy desk for a long time. And then I wrote a column for a long time. Yeah. Wrote a column from the time I was seventeen. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that seems unlikely for a 17 year old to get a to get a column spot. Uh, really low, really low standard. Great thing to say about your it's my former theme. employer. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> lo lovely people, but at that time, you know, there was a time, and I, I'm not sure it's changed completely. There was a time when newspapers were trying to figure out how to find new young readers and get mm -hmm. them in the newspaper, and so I wrote a humor column, yep. and we endeavored to do that. Mm. And, yeah. You gonna release that in a small book? You know, the old saw is that every journalist has a book in him, and that's where it should stay. Ah, I feel the same way about myself. Yeah. So, how does mayoring compare with all of your other jobs? Uh, best job I've ever had. Love the job. Um, very challenging. Yeah. Just a, a fantastic education, a real opportunity to, to get things done. As mayor, I'm the chief executive. Um, so I actually get to do stuff. This is a full-time job and I get to do stuff. And I get to put smart people together. It's very cool. Favorite TV shows on the air right now? Love Parks and Rec. For oh, so good. I, I almost asked you about that specifically. Yeah. Because that's like everybody's intro into local government now. As a mayor, what do you actually do? Oh. Just this? This is what you do? You talk to people on couches? I didn't think we'd get to that question. <laughs> uh, I am responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the city of Missoula. We have about 500 full-time employees. You run kind of a big business in effect, so mm -hmm. you're, you're paying attention to all those things that go on every day. But then you're also serving a whole bunch of citizens, and they have a whole variety of needs. You're basically the chief executive of a 500-person corporation that runs a city. Uh, which, yeah, sort of, yeah which I try not to think about too much because it scares me. I know, <laughs> really. One of the cool things about Missoula is that somebody always wants to try to get something done. You always do your best to listen to whoever's in your office. Sometimes they need love, sometimes they need tough love, but mostly they need an ear. And, mm -hmm. and yep. folks are amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I see some of that in, in the work that I do. A lot of people just have amazing ideas and they need just a ton, like a yeah. little bit of encouragement, a little bit of guidance, yeah. and it's really nice to be able to do that for yeah. people. It's very cool. I'm a little bit famous everywhere I go. 
because of my work on YouTube, you are a lot famous in only one place. Okay. What's that like? When I'm especially dumpy and getting groceries or a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> and your sweatpants. Yeah, which are enormous. 2 a.m. Yeah, and you know, I mean, sometimes you do sort of want to, I just want to get a cup of coffee right now. But, uh -huh. but I signed up for this, yep. so I don't, I, you know, it's, it's all part of the job. And I generally, you know, I, I call it the mayor look. And, and yeah, you get that look. And um, I generally like to say hello to people anyway. But, mm -hmm. I, I tend to do it even more now. You were raised in a friendly place. Yes, and part of my responsibility here is to make sure it stays friendly. The city is filled with do-gooders. Kind so of is. Yeah. Why isn't the rest of the country like that? Don't know. It's just you live in the best, best town in America. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad we agree on that point. Yeah. So what is, uh, what's the hardest part of being a mayor? Um, when I can't fix something when problems just don't appear to have resolution. When somebody is hurt or killed, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, all that, there's real, there's really serious human consequence to what we do. I sometimes tell folks that I have tremendous responsibility and very little control. Mm -hmm. And that, that can be a little bit tough. And I get my own fire truck. Oh, I didn't know that. Few people do. Can you loan it out? Oh sure. Okay. Yeah. We do a lot of prom night in particular. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I I would imagine that's actually probably your primary income source. <laughs> yeah. Fire truck yeah, rental. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all about new revenue streams. <laughs> I mean, most of the time they're just sitting there. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, if one's out on the town, there is some expectation among the citizenry that we use our resources as efficiently as possible. Right. And there's, not, there's nothing like a ladder truck on an April evening. Lady Gaga in the background. Oh, man. Yeah. My wife is, would love me forever. Yeah. No, she wouldn't. She hates it. <laughs> I think what I'm taking away from this interview is that... Well, there are takeaways. Yeah, is that we really need a family fun center with go-karts and miniature golf. Yeah. Because we've lost that. There is, I think, danger in nostalgia. Yeah. 